so plants that grow off the salton sea so you're not only destroying uh, water and trying to preserve it if i'm correct um there's also community members that that also go and uh, occasionally kayak and also enjoy the view because it is a beautiful view it really is um so if it were to dry out it would hurt a lot of people not emotionally but physically as well because we don't want the dust flying around like uh, the epidemic with Owens Lake and it would affect families uh, for an example mine because my little brother has asthma and to make it worse and for me to see him hurt because not only does he has asthma he plays soccer of course that takes a lot of running a lot of stamina so it would hurt me to see him be put out more than he is already. And as his big brother, wanting to do something to help him. But the only thing I can do is hope that air quality gets better. But if the salt and sea is drained or dried out and dust starts flying around, making asthma worse, It'll hurt, it definitely hurt. And I'm only one of many people that have this problem. So I ask that um, me, it just be bettered. That's my story. And if I may, uh, also give you a few pictures to show you how nice it is. Great, thank yeah. you. Mr. Avila, followed by Raul, Vidal, Zendeja. So I can start. Hello, okay. Um, my name is Christopher Avila. I'm from the Green Academy. I'm also representing the Great Sierra Alliance. And this is my public comment. Living in a remote town called Mecca, I found living so close to the Salton Sea was pretty awesome. I remember a time my friend told me I had not. I remember a time I told my friend I had not been to the Box Canyon. That same day, he told me to bring some shorts, an old shirt, a lot of water, and he told me he's waiting outside. As I got into the car, he told me he's going to show me something very beautiful. We arrived at Box Canyon and started climbing. The climb was pretty challenging, but totally worth it. As we arrived at the peak, I saw for myself the beauty of the Salton Sea with the, with the sunset setting right over it. And I'm here to fight for the salt and sea. I might not have been alive when it was at its best, but I have a, but I have no problem being a part of restoring the salt and sea. It's not hard to understand that if we don't do anything about the salt and sea and let it dry up, not only will it cost more money to fix the problems that come with it, but also it has the potential to cause more harm to victims that have that already have a respiratory illness illnesses, and increasing the chance of future generations developing developing asthma. I'm here today because I'm here today being a voice not only of the students of the Green Academy, but also of the people in the Eastern Coachella Valley. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Zendejas, followed by Andrea Vallejo. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is Raul Zendejas uh, Medel. And um, I'm also a member of the Green Academy, of the Great Academy. Um, I have to say, if nothing is done to help this, this lake, we'll see each other again. But then it'll be too late for my future generation, for my future generations and myself to get help. Instead, we'll be looking for compensation. This lake is like a ticking time bomb, slowly counting down, but with your assistance, we can defuse it. The reason why I call it a bomb is because it has a similar effect, but without the explosion. All the toxic dust will blow up, will do, will blow up in the dust storms that we frequently have um, in fall and in winter. <clears throat> and it will be directly inhaled into our lungs. If the worst things can happen, it's, it's, it's like a similar effect to like a shotgun to the face. Um, we die first, we see our people die first, and then we see the asthma attacks get even worse. 
Um, the closest hospital we have is in Indio, which is like from Mecca, is like two towns away. Um, the cl the fastest time an, an, uh, an ambulance can get to Mecca is in 30 minutes. If you actually go to this hospital, you'll see people bleeding out with uh, with like even like arms, not arms cut off, but like fingers or anything like that. They'll be waiting there for hours. And I'm not joking, they're literally there. Uh, the ER is uh, filled on a daily basis. Getting help, um, it's very difficult. That hospital is meant for uh, people with low income, which pretty much sums up the whole the whole Eastern Coachella Valley. And well, my purpose here was to um, advocate for the Salton Sea to get restored. There's no other way that I can put it. I mean, either it gets, if it dries up, it'll be like this toxic wasteland. That's all it'll be. It's life or death. That's it. Obviously, death won't be imminent, but slowly the process will come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. And, and, uh, Ms. Vallejo, and then we'll break for a very short lunch break. other one sorry good evening my name is Andrea Vallejo I'm 17 years old I'm a senior at Southwest High School and I live in the Imperial Valley five years ago I couldn't even imagine being here speaking to you I came to the US five years ago from Mexico without knowing the language and with a huge desire to make the most out of this opportunity that was given to me and my family in my advanced placement government class, I was recently assigned to make a documentary on an important issue in my community as part of a competition run by the television channel C-SPAN. I want to be a healthcare professional, and public health and well-being is one of the most important things to me. That's why I picked the Salton Sea as my topic for the documentary. It was an eye-opening experience for me to learn about this important issue, and our documentary won third place on C-SPAN's national competition. As you know, the Salton Sea is projected to start shrinking as a result of the QSA water transfers. One result of that will be increased air pollution, which will, which will cause many heart problems for the people living in the Coachella and Imperial Valleys, including increased rates of asthma, heart disease, and other illnesses. Young people and the elderly will be at especially high risk. One prediction is that the air will become so polluted that it won't be safe to live in the Imperial Valley. The restoration of the Salton Sea will not only prevent this from happening, but also will give use to potential geothermal energy there, which will provide more job opportunities and decrease the unemployment rate in the Imperial Valley, which is one of the highest in the whole country. Young people growing up in the Imperial Valley want to live in a community that is safe, healthy, and offers opportunities like the kind that brought my family and me here. Restoration of the Salton Sea is critical on making that happen. Right now, I'm here representing the Imperial Valley and the people who live there and will be affected by whatever happens to the sea. I'm representing my school, my classmates, my teachers, but most important, my whole community. I'm here representing and defending what I believe in. I believe in the decision that can be made in order to create an impact. And I believe in the action that can be taken to create change and make a better future for our community. We want to make a change on what we can see. We won the restoration of the Salton Sea. My name once again is Andrea Vallejo. Thank you very much for your time and your attention. Thank you. All right, we are now over an hour and a half behind schedule. Um, so we will take a very short lunch break, come back at uh, 1.45. Five. And again, if you're on a panel, we're going to be cutting your time, so you might want to work on it. It's more important that everybody hear everybody than that everybody say everything they want to say. So try and be concise. You can only retain so much. 145.
test, test, test one, two. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Test one, two. No, just the audio is just. Two there. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. See, that's the feedback. And then at the bottom it says meeting is on break. We'll resume at so. test one two test test one two. It's better, but I don't think it's still good enough. Yeah, no, it's not good enough. It's better than when he had on the line level. See, that's line level. That's in. No, this is better. Test one two. Test one, two, test one, two, one, two. That's maxed out on a game. Test one, two. Let's see the problem. I mean, it's not that bad, but. No, but.
test, test one, two, see that sounds terrible. Test one, two, test one, two. Test one, two. Oh yeah. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. How's that sound out there? Fine? Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. How's this sounding? Better. Is that good? Yeah. Will that work? That'll work. Okay. Yeah, much better. All right. There was too much static in that other one. Mm-hmm. Well, we're basically doing the same thing we were before, but we moved it over there, so maybe that's...
it's working, and we and everybody everybody can hear you fine on the webcast. By the way, just so you know, when you have it here, it's not a but yeah, people here and here can't. That's yeah, so it needs to go up. Yeah. Adjusted this, how's this sound? So, how does this sound? That's where it gets oh, yeah, yeah. the scene. All right. Good. So now I can just turn it off. Great. Yeah.
Or am I on? Yeah, good. All right, we'll reconvene. Um, she is the boss. She who must be obeyed. Yeah, mine, I got three. Wait a minute. I love this one. It's really good. I'm good to go. All right. We are. Um, we are continuing to do a little bit of juggling. Uh, I don't want to be um, um, disrespectful to those of you who are on a schedule, and I apologize. We're trying to do the best we can. Again, uh, brevity is... Said there's a phrase that brevity is something is something and brevity is divine whatever it is uh, the um, it's effective let me just say that um, we're gonna uh, out of order we're gonna take uh, Mr. Theodore Chester Jr. from IID because he has a plane to catch and then we'll move to the environmental panel and then we have some other people who need a plane to catch so we're gonna go through them quickly but those of you that we're taking out of order my suggestion is you take far less time because you, you said 15, and if you can keep it to five or 10, all those people you jumped will love you just all the more. Hi. Hi. My name is Ted Chester. Am I on? And, and, uh, uh, nope. Nope. Press the button. Push a button to bring. OK, there we go. Great. Uh, and you can pull it closer so you don't have to lean into it. My name is Ted Chester, and and uh, uh, I appreciate the the time uh, and the fact you've gotten us uh, here earlier. I will be much shorter than my estimated time. I guarantee it. Um, uh, I represent uh, a group of farmers uh, that are 20,000 acres of land in IID. Um, they are the some of the original families uh, from IID. Long, long history of farming. A uh, long, long history of service to the IID. With me is Mike Avadi, and uh, and our consultant Craig Craig Morgan. So, um, and they're here to uh, answer some questions if you have any. Um, the uh, uh, we we believe that the IID uh, petition is warranted, um, and we seek. Uh, participation, if there is going to be any proceeding before the state board, uh, we seek participation in order to protect uh, our claimed equitable interests in the water rights. Uh, as farmers, and I won't go uh, into great depth because that would take time, but uh, we have filed our comments paper. We've set forth, the, uh, I think, uh, 
uh, maybe uh, too too lengthy of a fashion, uh, but we've set forth what we believe are uh, 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 the farmers' equitable ownership interests in the appropriate rights that uh, are are used in in IID. Um, the uh, so without repeating anything in the comment paper, I do make an, I make an observation here, uh, and the observation is uh, uh, that the the promoters of this project of the QSA. Um, Apparently, uh, because based on the comment letters we've received, uh, based on the earlier uh, discussion from the the state agencies, um, apparently there is not uh, a, a a a desire, or or at least an understanding, that the QSA is going to be completed. There is an incomplete aspect to it. The incomplete aspect is the is the restoration fund. And the problem we have, and, and what what is at issue here, is that it's an incomplete transaction. It is a potentially failed transaction, and the the parties to it, everybody but IID, uh, still wants to get the benefits from it. Um, and we think that's unfair and uh, is unacceptable. Um, that's why we're here. That's why we are supporting IID for being here. Um, the uh, uh, the state did not. Uh, uh, issue any written comments. I thought that was kind of unusual. Uh, the, Na the, the Natural Resources Agency, DWR, um, the Department of Fish and, and, and Wildlife didn't issue any written comments, so we didn't know until about an hour ago what their position might be. And, and in their oral presentation, from what I could tell, they have no indication that they intend to, to uh, uh, complete the, the the QSA project that that we believe that they were they were in, uh, committed to do. Um, I, I I won't go through quote by quote, but I heard uh, that that the plans that they were pre that previously come up with are not feasible. Um, they're they're uh, they're doing some uh, minor pilot projects. Um, they haven't done anything. I mean I, I I'm 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 exaggerating I, 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 a little bit, but but there is. Uh, that, that concern, um, and so what I what I want to know is, and what I would hope this board would want to know, is can the state give some assurances that it will complete the the project, and if it gives assurances, at what in what venue in what forum will there be a determination of whether the, those assurances are going to be adequate or not? Um, it's a concept of contract law. Um, and 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 though I think it's it's relevant here uh, because the board was active in in uh, 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 understanding what what uh, or, or taking into account what restoration was back in 2002, but but should this board is it in a position to request its fellow agencies to give some form of assurances that are adequate that the QSA that their end of the QSA. Uh, uh, project is going to be completed or not. Um, and I would ask the board